Hello folks, this is G-Wave here, and we're back with another GTA Vice City playthrough. Now before we do Avery's missions, we are going to be doing another Hitman mission. So let's begin. Waste of wife. My compliments on a job well done, Mr. Teal. My client was very pleased. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. Again, I'm not Mr. Teal. Again, this guy thinks that, you know, Tommy is this hitman that he hired, but he's not. Oh, great, a cop. So we gotta make it look like a car accident. We can't shoot her. We gotta make it look like a car accident. Gotta keep doing this until her car blows up. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? One for the finisher. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Nothing personal. So again, this guy has no idea who Tommy is, but yet he has no problem giving Tommy these jobs. But the fact that Tommy has no problem doing this also shows you how bit of a sociopath he is. So, yeah, that's the bad thing about leaving those letters under the mailbox. Anyone could come. And again, how, if, how, if this guy don't know who Tommy is, how does he know how to pay Tommy or what's his bank account? Because, yes, I think at this time, direct deposit was a thing. I think. I don't know. I don't know. When was direct deposit made? Was that like not until the 2000s? But either way, no matter. More money for me. And you guys see we are up to 1000 one on no ten thousand my bad I'm do Avery's mission now and Avery four iron or the five iron I don't know Avery is a rich investor like yeah I'll explain what he does after this cutscene come in and park yourself on the hide son hell my daddy used to say never look a gift horse in the mouth and by golly he never did would you like a drop of beer with Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend in a week before. So yeah. <clears throat> so as I was saying, 
Avery Carrington is the richest man in both Vice City and San Andreas. Again, I mentioned this in one of my previous videos that I'm the first one that is a shame that Avery never makes an appearance in San Andreas. Trust me, he does not. Because you would think that since he's the richest man in both San Andreas and Vice City, ding, he would appear in San Andreas. But anyway, Avery is a corrupt land developer. Like, this means that he develops land and he he invests in stuff. Ass, and he's a real estate agent. This means that he, he invests in both land development, construction work, and all of that. And Avery wants us to go beat up and kill this guy that's gonna develop the land and all of that. But we can't use our gun, so. There he is right there. His bodyguards got golf clubs. Watch, when the moment we go here. We leave behind all of our guns, but we can definitely take our chainsaw. Yeah, they only allow you to use melee weapons. Who is this guy? Boys, deal. Yeah. Did it. That was easy. Like seriously, there normally fans that play this end up chasing him but like I said keep the chainsaw keep the chainsaw make sure you got the chainsaw okay waiting for my star to go away so, yeah, we're going to do Avery's next mission, and trust me, it's not going to be a fun mission. In fact, the next mission is one of the worst GTA missions in GTA history. And that's why I'm not happy that I'm doing it next. Because when I'm a, the mission I'm about to do, guys, I remember nothing but torture ever since I was a little boy doing this mission. Nothing but pain and suffering is about to come from this next mission. So yeah, that mission that we just did now, it could be a little hard for new beginners. Again, keep your chainsaw. Make sure you got the chainsaw and you will be okay. But our next mission is not going to be a fun mission. It is not. It is going to be really aggravating and I hope I make it well on that one so we're gonna get to there but first I need to save all right guys here it is one of the worst missions in GTA history demolition man my childhood memories are coming back no not memories nightmares nightmares I remember nothing but pain from this mission I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now, this here, this is a development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now, I'm going to head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? So, yeah, Avery wants us to destroy that construction area right there because he wants to develop it, but that guy we killed, his company is developing it. See? Right there, so that's the sign. 
what it's going to look like. So Avery wants us to mess up the area to make it look like they're not doing their job right so he can steal the property for himself. Yeah, and this is why it's bad. Look at how Avery wants us to do it. Why do we have to do it like this? Why can't Tommy just kill the guards and just simply, you know, plant the bombs manually? Like, I think this, I get it, this is to make sure that Tommy doesn't get caught and to make sure that if Tommy gets arrested, no traces can be traced back to him. Hence why I like Avery because he won't betray someone. But again, what's bad is that you got seven minutes, you got to place all the bombs, and you can't defend yourself. The chopper's got no guns. The only way you can defend yourself is that you tilt the chopper in a way. Come on. See, like I said, the mechanic is just not all that good. What the? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up.
One more. One more and this nightmare will be over. My bad childhood memories are coming. My nightmares. Yes! Ah, look at the fire truck. Whoo! I did it! <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! No more, no more. My childhood memories are now vent. That was the worst mission in this whole game, like. Again, why couldn't Tommy just kill the soldiers? Like, almost all of them were unarmed. Only a couple of them were armed, and Tommy could have gotten this over with and just gotten out with no problem. I guess Avery did this to, you know, that way Tommy wouldn't get arrested or in case that way if anything happened, no evidence can be traced back, but still. This is a bad mission, but trust me, there are other missions in this game much harder than that Demolition Man. So let's end this here. So yeah guys, I'm going to have to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this was a short mission, but on a short video, but I want to do each character one at a time. So I want to end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe to the channel. Check out my TikTok and Instagram for all other fun stuff. Like seriously, that mission that Avery had was so bad. You screwed up. You're, you're done for. But either way, I want to end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We didn't really do any too hard missions today, but next time we're going to do Diaz's missions. Trust me, we're going to do Diaz's missions next time. So like, subscribe to the channel, and do our other fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll do yet another GTA playthrough. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Check out the notification button to hit it so you can get notifications. And check on your loved ones and make sure they're okay. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day or night. This is G-Wave signing out. Peace and God bless. Bye.